Over the past couple of weeks, growing tensions between Iran and the U.S. have been making headlines. Following last week's downing of a U.S. drone, on Monday, President Donald Trump ordered new sanctions for Tehran. Washington Post national security reporter John Hudson has been covering the situation. John, first of all, thanks for being with us tonight. I want to start here. Just tell us what has led up to where we are now. Well, after the downing of the drone, uh, President Trump's advisors came to him with a military plan about striking Iran in retaliation. And uh, it culminated in a last minute decision in which the president decided not to go that route. Uh, but he has since escalated both his rhetoric and s economic sanctions moves. Uh, those moves have infuriated the Iranians, and they've said that they're in no position to come to the table diplomatically as long as the U.S. keeps piling on sanctions. With uh, you know those comments today, and then when the president did call off the strikes, he said that he was calling them off for now, but perhaps that wouldn't last. So, I mean, do you think that we could be headed towards some sort of military escalation here? Uh, that's certainly a concern that many people have, and the the reason is because uh, the the options are narrowing. Uh, if the United States is not willing to uh, loosen sanctions and just wants to add sanctions. Uh, Iran feels like its economy is being strangled by the United States. A lot of people have warned that Iran will continue to lash out. It looks like there's more tensions and there's no clear way that, of de-escalation. Let's go back to that nuclear deal because that, of course, you know, really is sort of the core of this issue prior to the downing of a U.S. drone. Tell us what Iran was doing and what the U.S. had a problem with. Yeah, so this all started uh, when the Obama administration secured a 2015 deal with Iran and other world powers to put restrictions on Iran's nuclear program. It specifically dealt with Iran's nuclear program. At the same time, the U.S. has had many other issues with Iran's support for proxy forces uh, in the Middle East. When Trump came into office, he tore up the deal and said he wanted to get a, a deal that addressed the nuclear issue and all of Iran's other regional activities. I see. Okay. So we will wait and see what happens with both sides as always. John, thanks for being with us tonight. Yep. Great to join you.